Give us 60 minutes and we'll give you Nelson Radio every Saturday from 2 to 3 p.m. on KTLK AM 1150. With 29 years in the mortgage business and an array of top-level guests visiting the show, Nelson is in a unique position to bring you cutting-edge information on real estate, business, finance, and law. If you have any questions for Nelson or any of his guests, give him a call at 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. Or check him out online at nelsonradio.com. Nelson Radio. You're listening to Nelson Radio. This segment brought to you by Insurance Incorporated. Cutting insurance premiums up to 40%. This is Nelson on Nelson Radio. We're back with one of our favorite segments, Coach's Corner. And we're going to be showcasing Lorenzo Neal, pound for pound, the preeminent fullback in the National Football League, had nearly a 20-year career kicking off with the New Orleans Saints. This interview was done with Dave Austin, our mental performance coach, and talking about how he... Uh, playing for eight different franchises across his career, managed change and how that presented an opportunity to him. Contact us direct, 888 2136 or click through at nelsonradio.com. Listen to Lorenzo Neal. When we're going to have a guest, I mean, he's the guy we got to have on because Lorenzo not only, you know, was an all-pro fullback, but, you know, he started his career as a running back. And he was an outstanding running running back and then got injured and then had to shift and became, you know, in the all-decade team, there's only one fullback on it, and that's Lorenzo Neal. And we're going to learn what how he was able to shift his whole mentality into saying, you know, he's the star guy, tailback, but now he's going to be the support role and became a superstar being that support role. So uh, really excited to have you on, Lorenzo. Hey, Dave, thanks for that great introduction, man. Pound for pound, the preeminent fullback. You've been with a number of franchises. Uh, obviously, you had a great stint with the San Diego Chargers, went on to Baltimore, ended your career, I believe, at uh, the Oakland Raiders. But we were talking in our opening segment, Lorenzo, about managing change and how so many people push that off as something that's uncomfortable. You faced that throughout your career. I wanted you to comment on that a little bit. Yeah, I think that when you change is something that, you know, you, you got to welcome. And I think that when you, you know, I don't know if you guys ever read the book, Who Moved My Cheese? You got to continue to move and, and keep evolving as people, as men, as leaders. And even as when you're in the entertainment world, in sports, you know, went from a predominantly two back offense when you know, I came in the league with, you know, in the Saints. And, you know, now the time's going less fullback. So you had to be that guy who really had to be an anchor and had to show your value. So it was me with change. I saw it coming. So I said, I have to work that much harder. So I was fortunate enough to play with some great backs who made my job a lot easier. And that's what changes. Change is always good. It's just how you deal with it. This is Nelson in Coach's Corner on Nelson Radio. You can contact us direct. 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136 or click through at nelsonradio.com. We're listening to Lorenzo Neal talking about managing change over his professional football career. You know, it's something that comes up from the outside looking in, people that don't understand professional athletes perhaps or uh, understand their careers. Some would look at, you know, you traveling through six, seven different franchises and kind of misdirect you into that, oh, he's a journeyman player. And yet you are known as, a well, a four-time Pro Bowl fullback, a phenom. How do you balance those two? Yeah, it's, it's, I think that's a, uh, it's a great statement, kind of how, you know, this is a journeyman player. is this guy who never really stayed in a long place, you know, played in San Diego five years, this New York Saints for four years. And you say, you know, you know, guy played 16, you know, 17 years. How, how, is that, how does that happen when you're, when you're such a prolific at what you do? I think now with the free agency and the way that things go and how it is and how it continues to evolve, I think that you have to be, when you're in a position that the value's not there, and you're just you're pretty much an assassin for hire, and teams use you just for what you can bring to the table, and um, you have to understand that, and you have to be able to, to take yourself out of it, and that's how you, as a, as a parent and as a father, as a leader, you have to, it can't be about you. You've got to understand that you have to be a provider. You have to understand that this is your job. You have to understand that it's a business. You have to understand that if you treat it as a business and not as a hobby, 
see, you know, I play tennis as a hobby, and I'm not that darn good, and I get mad if I, you know, they keep too many faults, and I'm like, darn it, darn it. But you know what? Go ask you, and, and go ask Dave, and ask yourself, did you play it as a hobby? He'd say, no, it was your business. When you were trying to go pro and you became a professional, it was your business. And that's how a lot of guys, they treat the National Football League or the sports that they're in and the jobs that they're in. You treat it as a hobby and usually get you hobby results. If you want to be great at something, you've got to treat it as a business. If you're going to be in sports, you better treat it as a business. That means you better be in the locker room. You better be working out. You better be watching film, watching your opponent, watching how he holds the ball. What's his release when he's dropping the ball in his tennis? What is he trying to do? What, you know, his points. That's how you become great. That's how you become a, 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 you know, a great player and learn your craft. And a student of your profession. Yeah, you know what, Lorenzo, I love what you had to say because, you know, one of the things, you, you gave all the credit to those backs, those great backs. I mean, you did play for great backs, but you're the only fullback that led 11 straight years backs to over 1,000 yards. Do you think you might have had a part in them having their success? My viewpoint is, Amen. Yes, brother, you did because of the student you were, because of your commitment. And that's what the show is all about, is that, you know, it, you, you chose football and that was it. You know, Nelson and I both, you know, played tennis a, as a profession. But, you know, in business, we have to make a choice every day. And I think it's you said it so beautifully. You study it. You be the best. You don't take it on as a hobby. You take it on as your job. And in that kind of extreme focus, that's when your beast comes out of you. No question, guys. I mean, you and Nelson understand, you know, the dynamics of being a team player, what role, when the guy needs to lay off, when the guy needs to come in. Even on the show, you start to you start to develop chemistry. In football, anything you do in life, you got to have chemistry with your partner, whether it's your wife, whether it's your business partner. That's how you become successful. When you become a, when it becomes about you, that's usually pride before the fall. You got to be able to trust people if you want to be successful in a lot of things that you do in life. You look at Tom Brady and the Peyton Manning. Tom Brady this year losing all the guys that he lost and still able to keep that team playing at a high level. Why? Because his commitment to excellence, him challenging other athletes and guys around him that he wants more and he expects more. He demands more, and that's what leadership does. Leadership isn't given; it's earned. That's Coach's Corner on Nelson Radio, showcasing that interview with Dave Austin and Lorenzo Neal, known as the pound-for-pound preeminent fullback in the National Football League with his career that spanned nearly two decades. He was discussing managing change, and I think it's so appropriate as we transition out of 2013 and look forward to 2014. Want to make certain you can contact us at any time. You can reach me direct, 888 2136 or click through at nelsonradio.com. Over the holidays, please pay attention to our alliance with treasuresofafrica.org. 50 kids that we're helping support down in Moshi, Tanzania, that are looking for your sponsorship. Uh, that orphanage is bringing up community leaders that not only are being provided clear drinking water, education, food, clothing, but are being taught on how to come back into their community and make change and be leaders in their community. Check it out, nelsonradio.com. We'll be back with you next week. You're listening to Nelson Radio. This segment brought to you by Insurance Incorporated, cutting insurance premiums up to 40%. Offer extended. Offer not accepted. Extended, not accepted. This is Nelson with Nelson Radio, and you're challenged by today's rush to real estate, all combined with a concern that by the time you find your dream home, higher rates will price you out of the market. I've got the answer. With my mortgage market exclusive lock and shop rate guarantee, you can freeze today's low interest rates, shop for your new home, all with a peace of mind that your rate is waiting for you at the finish line. Today's rate, protected and waiting for you to purchase your perfect house. Call or click, take advantage of my mortgage experience. 888-888-2136 and lock in your rate. That's 888-888-2136. Squash fear from perhaps the most important decision, your home. 888-888-2136 or click through on strongcreditrewards.com.